and it's wonderful to see so many people here. As Chris has said, uh, my name's Alex, and I am a candidate for St. Clement's Ward, where we are right now. Um, I guess the pitch here is, is why am I standing, and the reason I'm standing is because, as we all know, we're at a moment where we need to see real change. Change in terms of ecological justice, but then also change in terms of social justice. So some of the things that we as Greens are targeting are trying, uh, trying to make sure that people, especially young people, have access to proper homes, have affordable rents, have access basically to all of the things that are necessary to found a life. And I think, thinking back to what Kate's already raised, this really does speak to the value of community because without those uh, abilities to make a life, ability to feel yourself a part of a community, to make yourself, if you like, at home, it, you really can't get those relationships that are so important to all of us flourishing as people. So I think there's this a really important point right now to make sure that there are people advocating for change, advocating for affordable rents, advo uh, advocating for proper protections for people in workplaces and in housing. Um, in my sort of day job, I work as a lecturer at Oxford Brookes University. I do a lot of research around migration and I think this is another point in terms of our communities, the diversity of our communities, making sure they are places where everyone feels welcome and everyone feels protected and I think that's something that Greens are in a really really powerful place to advocate for. Um, I, when I think of the great things that our current councillors have done I actually think about the motion around sort of the protection of trans people that was put forward by our Green councillors and I think that's really really important so thank you all for all of the things you're doing to try and make Oxford a more diverse and inclusive city uh, at this very important time. Thank you. <laughs>